Hey everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Lessons. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about sachets. What are they? Well, I'm here to show you. Have you ever had um, a little fabric pouch that smelled really good? It either had potpourri or some kind of fragrant herb into it that someone carried around. Well, these are for more magical uses. They can be made, or they can just be put together. They are basically little fabric bags that hold um, a couple drops of essential oil, herbs, crystals, uh, coins, and different other um, magical things that can help a person spiritually or magically. I used to carry one when I went to work. It helped a lot. Now, I will admit the amount of stuff I put in here was for many different purposes. And I will show you, I'm gonna take everything out. I, I haven't worn this in a while. I just kept it in my pocket, but I still have everything I had in there from last time. So here we have an onyx uh, bracelet for absorbing negative energy. I put up with a lot of crap at work, and there's a lot of people with negative vibes. And I felt a lot of that negative energy was leaching onto me, so I decided to have this with me. If I sound a little strange, I got a couple Tic Tacs in my mouth, my throat's a little, you know, so. Sorry about that, I know it's unprofessional to talk with stuff in your mouth, but you know what? Sorry. I have a cross. Now, I, I said this, uh, I've explained this in, uh, the video where I enchanted the doll, you know, a lot of people would probably ask, Colton, you're pagan, right? I I thought you weren't Christian and you didn't follow the Christian ways. I don't. Uh, in middle school, I found this on the ground, and it's strange. Everyone walked over it. I seem to be the only one to notice it. I picked it up and I saw it as a sign that I was supposed to have it. I was not Christian back then, but I wasn't exactly a pagan either. Um, but I briefly was studying energy at the time, so later on down the road when I did start practicing, I started filling this with protective energies because that's what it symbolizes. You know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, you know, and it's supposed to have the protection of Jesus. So I placed this with protective energies of my own, not using... The Christian God, but using my own energies for protection, so I kept that in there. I knew that perhaps Jesus did send it down to me. Here I have three Eching coins. Eching coins, I believe, were a form of currency back in ancient China, although they used to be tied together with rope. Um, if you see... I don't know if you guys can see, they got like little symbols on it of like water, fire, earth, air. They got different symbols. Um, these are said to, if you carry a couple of these in your uh, pocket, it's supposed to provide prosperity. And I was looking for as much money as I can trying to save up for, you know, my hopes and dreams. Uh, I bought seven, but I decided to put three in there because all seven wouldn't fit in here with everything else. So I put three, and I, I earned my money. Here, we have an amethyst little statue uh, of a, an angel. So I placed it in there with the hope of contacting a, a guardian angel with me at all times. And amethyst is... A great thing for absorbing and dispelling negative energy. And I've used amethyst for this purpose for a long time. And it really does work. 
Amethyst is the way to go. And I definitely um, called upon one of my guardian angels to be present within this, and they were. I can actually still feel a light vibration, but I haven't used this in a long time, so. Ah. Now, I have a connection with uh, the Virgin Mary. I don't know why. I am not Christian whatsoever, but somehow I appeal more to her than Jesus. So I started praying to her. I've done a few rituals to her, and she has showed up. Um, I may have mentioned in a couple other videos that uh, this summer the rain was really bad in Michigan, and this basement flooded. Uh, while we were moving some of my stuff, um, the Virgin Mary statue crashed to the ground. Now, her hands were lost, and these fell off, but she's mostly intact. Uh, these are supposed to be um, the Miraculous Metal, which is said to provide healing aid and protection. So if you see that, she is said to be the, um, the saint of the Miraculous Metal. Our Lady of Miraculous Metal. So I kept those with me. I have a little clump of uh, white quartz. And I've said before that quartz is a universal crystal. It can be used in pretty much every single kind of ritual or spell out there. Um, I put the protective energy in this to protect me from certain people and or situations at work. I have another uh, little angel crystal, but it's uh, quartz now. So I also put another energy of an angel into that. And this, I forget what kind, this rainbow metal, as you, if you can see it in the light, it's kind of shown like rainbow. I remember, though, it, I forget the name, but it said it was definitely good for protection, grounding, and also good for financial gains. So I put that in there. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I have another one of those. I forgot. I bought two. Now, they may seem a little dusty because I put access um, incense powder, you know, the leftover resin from... Uh, burning incense. I took that powder and put it in. So that was another thing I added for a little extra energy power. I have a key and it says dreams. I wanted uh, prosperity for my hopes and dreams so I put that in there. What else is in here? Ah, hematite. One of, one of my favorite crystals. Hematite provides balance between the uh, energy and the soul. It stabilizes your energy in balance, grounds your energy so that you are protected from nasty spirits. And I'm not sure. I believe that is all. Ah, uh, if you don't know what this is, this is a piece of satyr that I used for the enchanting of the uh, doll. And I decided to put the leftovers in here as a type of herb. And why would I do that? Well, I placed a certain energy, you know, around the doll to help her have positive energy. So I decided to do that. Oh, this one is a skinnier version of the crystal. Uh, angels. Now, I've said it before that I have a total of three angels following me, so I thought it best to have three angel crystals with me. This one is quartz as well. It may be quartz or selenite, um, but still, that way my three guardian angels could have a physical connection to me at all times. And I believe that's it, but here, this is a, a little fabric bag. I received it, I think, when I bought stones at this other shop in Wyandotte. And it came with a detachable rope. Now, some people will sew the sachets up and close them permanently. I don't do that. I like a sachet that is interchangeable. 
all you have to do is cleanse this out, clean it out, and then put new stuff in there. And make sure that you cleanse all the stuff from the old and then to bring in the new. Now, you can see, opens up here. It's very small, fits in your pocket well. Um, I had a small rope that I used to really tie it together so nothing would fall out in my pocket. Sometimes it came loose, so I had to really tie it, and eventually it stuck. So, I, I carried this with me to work every day. It was full of energy, so I didn't feel the need to constantly cleanse it uh, since it was in my pocket. But it was definitely... A good use and I'm actually going to put things back in here why am I doing that well I may have mentioned that um, I've been laid off work for a while now and so I'm just doing me right now uh, so I want to keep this energy so what I will do is reset the energy from inside this sachet but I won't change anything out now there are some sachets that are for different uses, like I've mentioned perfume. Sachets are traditionally meant for to be uh, little sacks of odorous herbs to make you smell good, and I believe they used them a lot in the 17th century, uh, before bathing was a regular thing. And then there are those with herbs for a specific use, like people can place eucalyptus in a bag like this, tie it to the end of their uh, shower faucet, and when they take a steamy shower, it will release the oils of the eucalyptus, therefore opening up your airways if you have a cold or if it, you have allergies in case you get stuffy. There are many different uses for that, and there's I'm sure there's many tutorials on how to create uh, sachets uh, from scratch, pure but my sewing skills are not that well and I don't really have the inspiration right now to watch someone else do it I just stick with this so if you want to buy a bag such as this and fill it with specific herbs crystals oils that's your thing you can do what you want some people like to have a challenge they like to uh, challenge themselves creatively so if they want to make them scratch you do you now I mentioned that you could put oils in here how do you do that? Well, you would take an eyedropper, just a light few drops within the sachet. You don't want to soak it in oil. That would be a hard thing to clean up, especially if you intended to put this in your purse or your pocket. Don't do it. So just a few drops, three at the most, just to have the essence of the oils in there. Um, they can be an addition to the herbs or substitution for the herbs. That's really up to you. Now, different crystals. What kind of crystals would you put in here? It really depends on what you're using it for. I know I put an array of different things, but um, you would put, let's say you wanted protection. You could do quartz, amethyst. Um, let see, you can also uh, do selenite. That's another one. Uh, onyx is great for absorbing negative energy. If you wanted prosperity, you would you can do quartz for that too. You can do chalcopyrite, which is a uh, different form of pyrite, which is basically fool's gold. Um, you can do the specific rainbow ore that I placed. I'm not even going to get it out. <clears throat> or you can place different symbols of prosperity like the eaching coins that I put in here so it really depends and it can be something that's relating to the thing but isn't exactly like I know that doesn't make sense but um let's say you wanted something for prosperity but you didn't have any know-how about crystals or herbs for that what would you place in there well do you have two quarters okay now, before you put the quarters in, hold them in your hand and charge them with your intent for prosperity, for uh, making more money at your job, for maybe stumbling upon some money, for um, being successful in business, and that's all you need. My uh, great-grandpa had a, a little ritual of his own. Um, he had one of those little leather-bound uh, wallets, 
he would put two popcorn kernels and a shiny new penny in there. And it was said to bring you good luck and uh, prosperity. And as long as you believe in it, it will happen. Some people like to view that as superstitious nonsense. And those are usually the skeptics, you know, the people who don't believe in magic or the afterlife or energy or any of that. <clears throat> well, you know what? Who cares what they think? If you believe in it, okay. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. <clears throat> Some people like to embroider different symbols on the fabric as well. So if your sewing is good, uh, your embroidery, or maybe you want to challenge yourself, try to uh, etch a symbol. I do have one from another store that already has a pentagram on it. I've used that too. and Or you can do it yourself. Or a uh, little... Um, Nordic runes from Norse mythology. You can add those too. It's really your preference. Um, paper talismans you can put in here as well. You can basically put anything in these and just carrying them around with you. And let's say you feel like it served its purpose and you no longer need it. Obviously take everything out, cleanse the bag, cleanse everything in here and you can do that by praying over them and uh, immersing them in charged sage or incense smoke and reset their energy and then put some new stuff in here. I know there's a lot of like I would like to call them professional witches because when I half-ass things they don't. But you know what? I'm more of the bargain bin witch. I like a bargain. I like cheap stuff. And that's me. If you don't like that, you do you. But I, I personally don't like the thought of having a permanently sealed sachet. I like to interchange them. It'd be the same thing as if a woman sewed her purse shut. You can't get to any essential things in there and you can't put things that you want in there. It, it takes away the freedom. It takes away the will. You, so... I don't even bother with it, but if you want it, go ahead. I don't. Sachets, though, are definitely good. They're basically charms that you can wear about. Um, if you wanted to make one for a, getting a job, you would obviously carry it with you to the job interview. So whenever it is necessary, if it is just for in general, when you're out in daily day-to-day uh, -day life, just carry it with you, either in your purse, in your um, pocket... It's really up to you. As long as it's somewhere near you, it will work. It must be in range of you, of your aura. It can be touching your skin, in your pocket, or it can be near you, in your purse or a bag. Your call. As long as it's near you. That is the important thing. If it's at home, it has no use for you. All right, guys, that is it for this video on sachets. I hope this was informative. I really try to make them informative. Sometimes I feel like I may forget things, or sometimes I feel like I, I jumble around different topics and I get off topics. So sorry if you feel like I've been like that. Sometimes I have my laptop like in the background of the camera, like a teleprompter, so I don't forget things. But I haven't been doing that lately because I felt like I kept doing this you know, all over the video. So, um, if you guys feel like I'm a bit jumbled in my videos, tell me and, you know, I'll try to do better. You know, I really do value your opinion when it comes to my channel. Um, if you feel like I can do better in some things, please tell me. I won't get mad. Uh, or if you have any ideas for videos that I can do, please put it down in the comment section. Please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully your sachets turn out wonderful.